guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I water my air plants and a couple of care tips and it's going to be a quick one so join you in there. Okay, so here we have two types of air plants and a glass bowl. So what you're going to do is you're going to take them out if you would prefer. You could use chopsticks like I have over there to handle them because once you touch them you're messing with their triclones. Um, that's what their bottoms like little bottoms and this guy these crinkly bits that's what happens when you go a little too long without watering and I took them out of the shells these are just shells I've collected actually Gulf of Mexico um, we have this guy here he's a little rough a little rough down here there we go So all that white stuff is their trichomes. Why this is a little bit brown, er, I'm not sure. But when I got this, it was pink, actually. And over winter, it lost that type of color. I'd imagine if you kept it more in the sun, it would be brighter. This one actually used to be bright red. And this is another one, like the one I showed you with the crinkly bits. Mm, that actually came from Target, but it's got some really nice trichomes on there. Alright, this is optional. I got this off of Amazon, but it's air plant Tillandsia food, which are like the, those guys, not these guys. So you could give them a spritz once in a while um, to give them a little bit more nutrients but I don't use this too too often because I'm actually kind of finding it it's kind of sort of discoloring it like that on the one so just so tip. You take your bowl and you're gonna fill it with water enough that the air plants can kind of take a bath in it that's almost exactly what you want to do and then you're just gonna drop them in I like to bathe all mine at the same time, that way I can keep them on a good schedule and I remember this one I'll probably just continue to like gently push in there and this guy. Now if you can see this one has like some black edging, maybe I'm going to peel that off. Alright, so that one's dead. <laughs> so this is what a, I guess, poison looking one looks like. Not poison to you, but like it's maybe got a little bit of fungus going or something. A little black mold. Um, I did lose another one of these, like two weeks ago actually. And um, I'm either forgetting to water them or they're not in enough sun or something. So we're going to go ahead and toss that guy. These will stay in here for about 15 minutes or so, and then I will just lay them down on a dry cloth with their little booties this way so they can drain from the crown. I'll probably let them air dry for at least 20 minutes and then put them back where they belong. So I actually don't have any paper towels so I'm just letting them kind of air out so they don't rot in the center um, and then I'll return them to their shells and their rightful hangers and that'll be that. to go ahead and give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe for more plant videos and I will see you soon. Bye!